In the past, if you were a WordPress user and didn't have coding knowledge, you may need to spend hours searching the web for answers to solutions when needing to create custom code. But now with the emergence of artificial AI, that is beginning to change. AI-assisted coding is the use of machine learning generative AI models that aid in creating code for WordPress. Most of these assistants let you describe what you want to code by just entering a simple text prompt, and then from there, the AI automatically generates the code for you. Now, there are a lot of different AI coding assistants out there, and today I'm going to walk you through three different ways that you can use this for your WordPress site. And first of all, I want to show you just how easy it is to use Divi AI to help you with your coding needs. Divi AI is Elegant Theme's new flagship AI product that allows you to generate incredible images images, SEO quality text, and even code. With a simple text prompt, you can use Divi's code fields to make stunning animations, effects, or anything your heart desires. And also, unlike a lot of other coding assistants, Divi can generate CSS, HTML, and JavaScript. So generating code with Divi AI is extremely easy and very conversational, and I'll show you just how quick you can do that. So let's say we wanted to add a gradient overlay to this header section here. So what we can do is click the gear icon to bring up the module settings, and then we're gonna go over to advanced, and we'll go to custom CSS. And from here, we'll see this little AI button. And when we click this, it'll bring up the prompt for coding with AI. So for instance, I could tell it to generate a gradient background overlay on the H1 heading using the two different blue colors that are in this layout. Then we'll click generate code. It'll take a couple moments here and then it'll generate us that gradient that we wanted it to do. So you can see it generated the gradient for us without us doing any coding on our own. If you like it, you can click use this code. And if you wanted to do some different versions of it, you can always click retry or you can change the prompt altogether. So I'm satisfied with this and I'll hit use this code and then we'll save it. And now you can see it created our gradient super easily. Now, as I mentioned before, in addition to doing CSS, you can also generate HTML and JavaScript right inside of Divi AI. So for instance, if we wanted to take this hero section and add a cool zoom animation to it, we can do that with Divi AI. So what I'll do is go to the section settings here and click the gear icon. And then I'll go over to advanced and where I have CSS IDs and classes, I'm gonna give this a CSS class of hero. And then I'll save this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a code module. So I'm gonna add a new code module here. So now all we'll go down to is the Divi AI button and then we'll tell it exactly what we want it to do. So let's for instance, add a zoom out effect on scroll to the CSS class hero, and then we'll generate the code. It'll create the code for us really quickly. And again, if we like it, we can click use this code. If you want it to change, you can click retry. And then to test this out, let's use the code We'll save these settings, then I'll save our page, and then we can just exit the visual builder to check out our code and see how it looks. So now we have our hero section here, and you see when I scroll down, it added this zoom effect that I told it to. And if that's not quite what you were looking for, you can always customize that code, tell it to be more specific, and change it to be exactly what you're looking for on your site. So if we did wanna change it, we could go to enable the visual builder again. We'll go back to our code module, and if we wanna change it, we can always go back to code with AI. And if we wanted to make changes, we could just tell it to replace the existing code, or you could add extra code down at the cursor. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna generate new code for this. So then if we wanna check this one out, we can hit use this code, we'll save our page, and then we can exit the visual builder again and check out this version of the code that we just created. So now you can see it takes the hero section and it zooms the entire area in and out for us when we scroll. Now, another huge name in WordPress is Elementor, and Elementor AI is another powerful tool you can use to help you with your AI-generated code. Elementor is one of the most popular page builders in the world. In recent months, they joined the AI revolution by offering text, image, and custom CSS generation. To use it, you just need to activate the Edit with AI button in Elementor's front-end page builder and any module containing text or images. Now for CSS generation, you do have to shell out for a pro license, but you can try Elementor AI text and image generation in the free version. Generating code with Elementor AI is very similar to generating with Divi AI, and it's a conversational experience where you just tell it exactly what you want it to do, and it'll help generate the code for you. Then after your generated CSS code is live, you can change the colors, animation speed, make other tweaks that you need to suit your preferences. It's extremely powerful and quick, and lets you easily generate CSS for your web projects with no coding skills at all needed. It's also very affordable as well, and if you want, you can sign up for a yearly pro license for only $59. But also, if you want to use Elementor AI's CSS generator, you'll need to sign up for a paid plan, and pricing start at just $2.99 a month. Now, another one of the biggest names out there when it comes to AI-generated code is CodeWP. CodeWP is an AI tool trained specifically using WordPress. It helps you create custom code snippets to extend its functionality or avoid using heavy plugins. Now, when you are ready to implement generated code snippets, you'll need to install a code snippet plugin such as WP Code or create a child theme and copy specific files from the includes folder to place your snippets. So it's pretty easy to use. So here from the CodeWP dashboard, I'm gonna go up to create new 
And then all I'm gonna do is create a new chat so we can go into conversation mode. And you can see by default, we have it set up for WordPress. And then all we need to do is enter the prompt of what we want it to do. So I'll enter in our prompt here. And then once I'm ready, I'll go ahead and have it create that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a custom post type called cars. And then I'm gonna include taxonomy for vehicle type and add the following meta fields to the cars custom post type. So I'll make a field for make, model, price, et cetera. And we'll have it create the code for us automatically and it'll just take a few moments. And then it'll tell you at the bottom here exactly what the code's supposed to do. And then once it's all done, we'll go up here and click create a snippet. And this will generate us our code snippet really quickly and automatically. Now, a couple cool things we can do here is we have the option to either copy all this code that we want. So you can go up here and copy the file contents, but you can also have it do a preview of what the code's supposed to do. So let's click preview here. It'll launch us a WordPress instance. And you can see it created our custom post type for cars. And you can go in here and play around and edit it. And if it's what you wanted, we can save this and copy our code into WordPress. And if it's not, you can always adjust it with CodeWP. So hopefully that helped demystify AI generated code within WordPress. I am gonna leave a link to a blog article you can check out. It's down in the video description. It's going to go a little more into depth on how you can use AI to code within WordPress. Thank you so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. Before you go though, make sure you check out some of our other content and I'll see you in the next one.